Hi YouTube, my name is Leah and I just wanted to share with you my perfume collection. Of course, in no way am I trying to brag or be insensitive to the time at hand, but this is just my collection, my guilty collection of materialistic things. I love perfume, I'm just an enthusiast, in no way am I an expert. You'll see here in my collection that I, its range is from drugstore to department and I don't have anything really over $150. Uh, I do have over 200 perfumes, probably less than 250. Maybe I'll get a count on it at when I review the video. The last time I tried to film this stuff, I know it took at least 45 minutes, so this might be broken up in two parts. So please grab a snack and I'll show you each cubby by cubby. Okay, so this is my first cubby. I try to organize my sense by when I wear them into which grouping I would put them in and of course my perception is is can be different from yours and you know you can wear a perfume whenever you want to wherever you want that is just what is so great about fragrances so to start is Narciso this is one of my favorites this is the EDT pure musk by Narciso. It's a recent purchase. This is our Moff Club de Nuit for women. This is supposed to be a dupe for Chanel uh, Coco Mademoiselle, which I do not have any Chanel's. So that right there will tell you that I'm not a connoisseur. Uh, this is Lelix Nilong, which to me kind of smells like angel, like a more mature angel. And then this is Alaya Blanche. It's a pretty perfume. And then this is one of my favorites, Alaya. That's just like a sexy perfume in my opinion. This is Dior, J'adore of course, but this is the Lumiere, oh, Enjoy. And this, I purchased this from Sephora because it reminded me, it had a scent that I thought smelled like Sun Sweet Kiwi by Bath and Body Works, but it does not have any kiwi notes in it and then this is donna karen's cashmere aura which is kind of like a berry version then this is one of my more expensive perfumes the l'ombre de Merveille. i did purchase this from sephora it just reminded me of a smell from my 20s and then this is roberto cavalli florence this is a good um cheapy that i think i got from marshall's um, and then this is Angel EDT. This is, uh, my mom actually gave me her bottle and I went through my bottle before then. This is Sophia for Jara Sophia. Another good one. Sarah Jessica Parker. Lovely. And then I have the Lovely Sheer. A little floral version of it. And then Sarah SJP Stash. Pacifica's Mediterranean Fig. I've had this one for a while. And then, actually I'll move on back here again. This is Alien Extraordinaire, or O Extraordinaire. And the original Juicy Couture. And to one of my, again, to one of my more expensive ones, the uh, New York City uh, Bond Number no. 9 Chinatown. An incense smell. And then Gucci Rush. Michael Kors. I think this is the gold edition. Michael Kors Sexy Blossom. This was a re recent blind purchase from I think TJ Maxx. And Tory Burch, the original. This gets like a lot of hate from being for being a basic beauty smell, I guess, but I like it. And then this is Stella Toka Hair Fragrance. That was from Sephora, I believe, too. And then I like a lot of Bulgari. So you'll see this is from their Splendida uh, line, Magnolia Sensual. I just recently got this from Macari. And then again from their Splendida line, Bulgari, the Iris Dor or Dor, Dior, is actually a strong iris smell. It's not the really the soft powdery smell that's associated with iris. And then Kenzo World is a different smell. The little 
I dingleberry thing fell off in the mail. I think I got that from Fragrance Scent. And then this is Lolita Lampica, the EDT, an old favorite of mine. I'd gone through a bottle of that. Gucci Bamboo, the EDP. And then Dulce uh, by Dolce & Gabbana. Then a lot of people have this because of Kathleen Lights, the Gucci EDP too. Reminds me of Ralph Lauren's Polo Blue or whatever it was from early 2000s. Then Ralph Lauren Woman. Ooh. And uh, Gucci Floor, the Glorious Magnolia. I like Magnolia smells. And you'll see uh, cat hair and cat scratches. My cats are very nice though, but, so don't mistake it. And then YSL Parisian. And this is an older set and this is Ketrel's Lulu. I haven't actually worn that out yet. And then Madonna's Truth or Dare. Yeah, I accidentally squared some out right there, but. So I think that's it for cubby number one. Okay, so this is my second cubby. I would classify these more as my fresher, um, brighter perfumes. So I would wear these again in the summer. And, oops, the first one is an old, oldie, but the Versace yellow diamond. This is a Bulgari, I think this is the Indian garnet but it's like an orangey citrus smell version. And this is Omnia Crystalline. And then this is Bulgari BLV EDP2. This is uh, Nina Ricci's Luna. To me, that's a toned down version of Manifesto by YSL. Then Mark Jacobs, Daisy, uh, Love. This is Poco Raban Olympega Aqua, a salty sweet one that people know. This is Stella McCartney. I think this is um, called Poppy or Peony. Yeah, sorry, Peony. And then Ange Udemon Le Secret EDP. And to me, this is like a citrus lighter version of Stella McCartney's Peony. To me, they smell similar. And then old classics of Davidoff Cool Water. DK1, have to have a huge bottle of it for memories. And then same with this little one, Candies. So if any of you were born, and made teenagers in the 90s you would relate to that and then this is elizabeth arden green tea mimosa the alien innocence i think or innocent that was a tati recommendation and then j-lo still another tea smell and then another bulgari this is eau perfume eau de rouge with a little hair on it. Marc Jacobs Pear. To me this is a more masculine version of Victoria's Secret Bombshell. So I got rid of Bombshell and gave it to a friend. And then this is Marc Jacobs, oh Daisy EDP. Another one that everybody knows. Oops, sorry I'm having a hard time seeing. Where I'm, what I'm doing. Then Mac Turquatic Classic. This is probably my third bottle of it. Then Ellen Tracy Bronze. I saw this as a recommendation with um, from notes from Josephine. She's a smaller YouTuber, but I've been enjoying her videos. And then uh, Burberry the Beat, which I like this. is Again, it's just a plain but fresh smell. It's good for summer. Then this is Levant Lenvin, A Girl in Capri. This is my first Lenvin perfume. And I must say its performance is like a body spray. Then the Nouveau Cologne. This was a Sarah Mays recommendation on YouTube. Another perfume centered YouTuber. 
Then this was is Sula Champagne Sugar. They were sold for a little while in Ulta. La Coste Pour Femme, which is a good clean scent. And then Supermodel by Victoria's Secret. I had a little sample of this back in the day and I really liked it then, but um, I really haven't worn this since I bought it at a semi-annual sale. Then this is Taylor Swift Incredible Things. Then Nicki Minaj um, Pink Print. And this is very similar to JLo's Miami Glow, which I have here. And then, of course, that was another Kathleen Light suggestion. And then this is uh, just a classic Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue. Just a pretty set. It's not noticeable, but just a pretty smell. And then I guess this was a 90s or early 2000s perfume. DKNY Woman, but this is maybe the spirit one or something. I got this as a blind buy from TJ Maxx, I believe. And a lot of, yeah, a lot of these were blind buys. Um, Sheep and Sheep Moschino, I Love Love, which smells similar to... Again, I've gone through a bottle of that. Just a good smell, for, in my opinion, of course. And then uh, Honey by Marc Jacobs. I like honey smells, but I have to be in the mood for them. And then Gap Close. This was an old one. Uh, I wish I knew of a dupe for Gap Ohm. I got rid of that one when I moved back to the States from Germany, but I miss that perfume so much. This is Versace Versense. Another great clean um, citrus smell kind of masculine and then Versace Eros the EDT then we all know this one the eccentric molecule 01 this was a tester from fragrance net so it was a little bit cheaper Prada candy then this is Prada iris I think it used to be called Doris or something, but now it's just Iris on the side. And then Julie, it has a gun, not perfume. And I've gone through about all this before. And I think that is it for my cubby number two. And this is cubby number three. This has more of my celebrity and free scents. Uh, of course, I enjoy all of them regardless of where they're from. They're just like the children that I don't have. You love them all. But uh, some of these are for nostalgic reasons. I am a late 90s, early 2000s person. So like Lancome Miracle, I never really wore this, but uh, somebody in one of my classes did. So I liked it on her. Then same with Victoria's Secret Pink. I had it back then, didn't really like it, but I keep it for nostalgia. And then this is Dream Angel's Glow, another peony scent that I have to be in the mood for. And this was a blind buy from TG Maxx, Promise Me by Europa Stale. This reminds me of like Hollister, I think that's what it was, or Abercrombie and Fitch. It's like it is a masculine tea smell. And then another masculine tea, in my opinion, is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden White tea. This is a little bit more um, on the unisex side than what I had expected, but it's still good. Eternity Now by Calvin Klein. And then another classic is Calvin Klein Escape can get that really cheap from online and then it's got a cherry in the air which is a fruity smell of course can't say things in words right right now and then exo victoria by victoria's secret this reminds me of versace eros but more of an apple smell and then rihanna's rogue glow which is like juicy couture 
on those lines. And then I have Couture Gold, which is the popular caramel smell. And then let me root around. Oh, I have Givenchy Live Irresistible <laughs> EDP Delicious. So another one of these fruity gourmand sort of smells. And then uh, Jessica Simpson's Vintage Bloom, which is like fancy floral, a caramel floral smell. And then this is Fancy Love. And then Taylor Swift Taylor, which these are on similar lines. And then this one was, this is an older perfume, Aqua di Parisis, uh, Venice. I think it was a Rayanne tradition. This is like a knockoff of the whole La Via Spell, but this is not nearly as gourmand, but it is so it's still a sweet um, smell. We'll need to fix that later. And then I have Rihanna. So you can tell I'm a big fan. This is Rebel Florida Splash. I don't know what I did with the small bottle, but I had a small bottle of the EDP. And I just wore that the other day, so I don't know what I did with it. And then this is the Love Always, her recent release. Ooh, everything's jumping off. And then Ri Rihanna's Riri, which I was pleasantly surprised by how much I like this. And this reminds me of a more gourmand version of Bath and Body Works, Love, Love, Love. It's a like a plum smell or a berry smell. Then Justin Bieber's The Key. And I'm sorry, I have to pick up that cap or it is going to bother me. Here it is. Boop. And this is Versace's Crystal Noir. And then this is what I've seen in Burlington Coat Factory, the Ali Tahari or Ali Tahari. But this reminds me of Versace Crystal Noir, but just a more mature version. More of the tea and less like tropical smell. And then La Vanilla Laboratories French Vanilla Lemon. This was used to be a Sephora, then it's in TJ Maxx. Then this is Oscar de la Renta, the ruby or the red. And this is on the lines again of a La Vies Belle trend. And then clean, this is actually a body splash, but sun kiss skin. And then, of course, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Escada Sorbeto Rosso, which is a very watermelon and rose smell. Dolce & Gabbana Lamp Patrice, number three, which is popular on YouTube. This is the SJP NYC, which is like a strawberry boozy smell. You can see the actual bottle. And this is uh, Sophia, Sophia Fergera Temptation Paradise, which is a good little tropical smell from Burlington. And then this is an older one. I think I got this in like 2004, but this is Victoria's Secret's Sweet Temptation. And so I think that is it for, oh, I not go over. Sorry, this is Nikki, on... Nikki Minaj's Onika. And then this is her Trini Girl. 
kind of smells like bubblicious and then something more mature in it so okay i think that is it then for cubby number three hey this is cubby number four and i moved across as across and then down just because i'm already in this corner and again this is celebrity sweet drugstore smells um, I tend to wear these more at night, I find myself, or after the shower. This is a little tiny size of Physician's Formula's Butter Paradise. This kind of reminds me of the whole bum bum cream, kind of, but not as deep. And this is an old one. <laughs> this is... Kimora Lee Simmons uh, Golden Goddess so I used to wear this one and I think I used to wear the pink one and this is Kimora Lee Simmons again Fabulosity I had bought this trying to find a dupe for Bath and Body Works uh, Love 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 which is what the Rihanna smell Riri smell kind of is more on the lines of but um, this does not smell, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit, but not really. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and then this was a recommendation from a waitress. Because uh, she liked it. She was wearing Versace Eros EDT. She, I had to ask her what she was wearing. And then she told me how she was wearing that. But then how Banana Republic's Rosewood was good. And it is it is yeah again i haven't really smelled anything like it it kind of sweet but then yeah wood smell so you have to like i don't know i can't make any recommendations to you but i like it though then this is jlo's live Lux, and this reminds me of ralph lauren's polo blue or polo came in the blue but it's more wearable in my opinion. To me that polo blue is a little bit strong for me. I had that too back in the day. And then this is just a regular loaf, which is like another one of her soapy perfumes. And then the original JLo Glow. And then this is the LA Glow, which is a berry. Then this is Mariah Carey's pink, oh, luscious pink. Yeah, sorry. This is a uh, nice, yeah, floral fresh smell. Not a strong floral. Oh, there's it is. Then this is a smaller version of her M, I think, which is like an incensey marshmallow smell. But here it is. I don't know why I put it down there. I was trying to put uh, circles into the squares. Then Beyonce's Heat, which is like on the lines of the whole Juicy Couture smell. For nostalgia exclamation, it, re it doesn't smell the same from what I remember. And then we get into the Shalamar by Guerlain. This is the Eau de Cologne. And then this is all the Chantilly. Giorgio Red. This is the Oscar de la Renta, the Spree de Oscar, which is kind of like a lighter version of like the Shalamar and Chantilly types. Sorry for all my recklessness. This is a uh, windsong, which it reminds me of like a cocoa butter smell. It's not, it definitely does not smell like cocoa butter, but has that, it was like an off brand cocoa butter. And then this is vanilla fields. Then we have vanilla musk. Loves Baby Soft. 
the Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina Mysteriosa. You might hear my cat crying outside the door because I've been in here for a while. This is Britney Spears' prerogative. Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy. And then Jovan's Island Gardenia. I have Santa and Sable. Then I have the mini and a bigger version of Adidas Moves Her. This kind of reminds me of um, Cool Water. Then we have uh, Britney Spears is in control, curious. And then this is Victoria's Secret, Love Me. And then this is XOXO. I think that's just what it's called, but it's like a berry version of uh, pink sugar, which I also have, whoops. I wear this a lot in the winter at night and I need to buy backup of it. And then I have English laundry number seven, which is yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's a, kind of like a bedtime smell again. And then Britney Spears' private show. So that is it for cubby number four. This is cubby number five. This is getting more into my winter smells. And of course you might not classify something as winter, but this is just when I tend to find myself wearing these and I have my philosophies together. So this is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Sparkle. That was a holiday release. Then Asian Provocateur Fatal Intense. And it is something that men like. <laughs> Lalique's Amethyst. Then this is Armas. Our Moths Tresjour Pour Femme. This, I was looking for a cheaper alternative to Givenchy's Le Secret. This was noted something on Fragrantica as being similar, but it is more mature smelling. So I went ahead and bought the original <laughs> Le Secret. So not a point in cutting corners there. And then this is Indulgent Moments. These are two EDP sprays. They were only $10, but these are actually pretty potent. I don't have any, I don't have any of the Dior Poisons or Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. This, I would think this smells like Carolina Good Girl mixed with Viva La Juicy. And then I'm not sure what this is, if this is supposed to be a clone of something else, but there's a lingering note to it reminds me of some body splash that was in a purple bottle that I used to wear when I was a kid so I like that's why I like this one and then again I'm not sure what poison or good girl really smell like exactly but from what I remember this reminds me of good girl this is by your moth the pride This is Sean John P. Diddy, Unforgivable Woman. And this has, this is very weak as far as longevity. This is Jennifer Aniston's Lux. Lolita Olympica, the EDP. Oops, the bottle, the glue. Came off on this one. This is Michael Kors Sporty Citrus. I really like that one. It's a peppery smell, unisex kind of. And then Michael Kors Sexy Amber. This is an old one. This is Armani Mania. I bought that for Nostalgia. 
And this is the Yop Laban or Labane. That was a uh, notes from Josephine recommendation. And then this was a delicious delights mention. This is Bulgari. I think it's um, Goldia. I couldn't remember what that was. Then this is Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love. This is the Atelier Cologne, the Knee and Sense. And this is Queen Latifah's Queen. Yeah, so this is her original Queen, which is a really good smell. And then this is Queen of Hearts, which is more of, this is more masculine. And I bought this off of Mercari recently, but this is Kate Walsh's billionaire boyfriend. She had the original boyfriend, which I haven't smelled, and this was a blind buy off of Mercari, but this is, again, another masculine smell, but I like it. Then this is Jessica Simpson's Fancy. One of, I really like that one too, of course. And then Kenneth Cole's White. This reminds me of, was it Twilight Woods by Bath and Body Works? I'm kind of over that smell though. Classic Victoria's Secrets Heavenly. I think this is my second bottle. The first bottle I dropped and the glass broke. Then Jimmy Choo Illicit, which I like more than the original. Jimmy Choo, I know how this one is popular, but yeah, something in it just doesn't sit well with me. But I understand how it smells good. And then this is the YSL Manifesto. Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. Then this is Burberry. I think this is just, oh, Burberry Brit for her. And this is the Givenchy Orange Eau de Men EDP. I'm not, I'm unsure about this one. There's a saffron in it. And to me, it kind of smells like a wet dog at first. And I love dogs, but not necessarily in a perfume. And then this is Lush's Olive Branch, another unisex smell. And then this is one of my favorites. Uh, I Love New York by Bond, number nine NYC. A coffee smell. Then this is Hana, Hane by Hana Mori. Which I guess it smells like um, flower bomb. <laughs> and I bought this off of Amazon because I had a boyfriend who wore Dior's Fahrenheit. So this was a cheap knockoff off of Amazon, but it's called Fire Night. So I keep that just for nostalgia. Then this was a great, um, oh, I forget her name, but a YouTuber, but this was a great suggestion. This is Mabusan, and this is just a good, it's like, yeah, the sweet musky smell, a little caramel. Oh yeah, Elixir by Mabusan. It was a good, um, she went off of Amazon and I forget what her name is, but I like her videos. And then this is Twilight by Michael Kors. This is a, like a softer oud. Sweet smell. I'm particular with my ouds. Then this is Clean Reserve Suede Oud, which is a very wearable clean oud. And then I have my philosophies. So this is Eternal Grace. 
Just a little masculine, pure grace, a clean, soapy one. Fresh cream, which we know of. Fresh cream and warm cashmere. And then this is uh, Falling in Love. I bought this at its level from a Macari purchase. I had this in the shower gel. And then I bought it in the little one. And I didn't like it as much in the perfume form. But this one, I bought it with this one that I wanted to try since it's for um, Falling in Love Summer version. So I do like this one over the original falling in love so again this is a small falling in love and then i do i like this amazing grace the ballet rose so okay that is it with cubby number cinco this is my last cubby it has again more of my winter smells i do of course wear these perfumes whenever but these are more of my musky and rose perfumes this is the Dahlia Divin um, Nectar by Givenchy. I really like that cap on that one. And this is Gucci Guilty, the EDT. Then Gucci Premier. This is an EDP. Then My Berry Black. This is a powerhouse perfume. Need very little and it goes a long time. Then Dolce and Gabbana, the one. I actually wore this one in the summer. I wore it to a dinner in the summer and I loved it then. And then this is the Paco Rabanne Lady Million. This was a perfume that I didn't like when I was younger and then now I'm older, I do like it. And then another heavy, <laughs> heavy, it is a heavy honey smell, but Kim Kardashian's honey. And Guerlain's Mon Guerlain, the EDT. And then I was able to get the Floral for a really good discount through Macy's for whatever reason. So I really like those two too. Then this is Escada. I think this is simply Escada. But I, this is actually a rose smell that I think I'll wear in the summer. But I put this in with my other roses like Stella McCartney Stella classic then this is Juliet has a gun Romantina and Kat Von D's Sinner this is a repurchase I had the original that was in that gunmetal skull one then Ellie Saab Le Parfum the Rose Couture this is a really pretty rose that I wear to work and then this is just the original in a small um, the regular EDP this was in a set from TJ Maxx or yeah TJ Maxx or Marshalls and then Oscar de la Renta the Bella Rosa and then I have a Joe Malone vanilla and anise or anise Then this one I actually wear in the summer, but this is Red Musk by The Body Shop. Sorry, I bought this from an airport on my way to uh, South Carolina, I think, or North Carolina. And then this is Emporio Armani, the She L R E. -F. Then this is Kenzo Amore. And then Aaron's Amber Musk. I bought this from a CCO. And this is in Max Mara. I bought this off of Mercari. I tried to find a, again, I was trying to not buy the real Givenchy Dahlia Devin, but it didn't smell like it, so I went for the real one. Then this is the Givenchy the EDT Hot Couture. I made a mistake and bought the EDP online, which doesn't smell like this one. Then this is, was it the Apple Bum? Rosita Apple Bum or something? 
And this was her recommendation a lot was the 212 Sexy. That one took me a little while to get into. From La Perla, their collection is the White Iris. And then I have their Mia by La Perla. And then Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. It is a pretty almond sweet smell. And then of course, Giorgio Armani C. And then a good cheap dupe is the Elizabeth Arden Always Red. And then this is Kahaya White Flora EDP by The Body Shop. Then we have Clinique's Aromatics in Black. This one, it's a little different, but Mambo by Liz Claiborne. It's a classic. And then this was a Delicious Delights recommendation, but the Eau de Gaga by Lady Gaga. And this is like a lime lighter version of my opinion. This is my treasured Dolce & Gabbana buy. I bought this like in 2004, 2005, and I love it. I'm glad it made the move with me, but I rarely wear it because of how it's discontinued. You know, I can't find like a decent price one. And then Guess by Marciano. I don't really, a lot of these I honestly don't wear. But I pick them up because I see them all the time in like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Burlington. This is a pretty perfume, but the Belle D'Opium by YSL. This came out before the Black Opium, but this has more patchouli. And what's funny is that I was waiting for a blind date and I was wearing this. And I wasn't too sure of what the guy looked like. He was a tall, brown-haired guy, you know, in shape. And then this other guy came walking up, but he looked younger. So I was like, ask. So I gave him this smile, and he came and sat down to me and told me how <laughs> nice I smelled. And I was wearing this. But it was a little tangent. No, but those are the little stories I like when it comes to perfume. And then this is, of course, Black Opium. I want to pick up the floral version. Something lighter and just more appropriate for the summer. And then this is Rihanna's Rebel or Rebel. And yeah, I, I like this. I bought a backup of that. And then down to my last ones. Okay. Then this is Escada Magnetism. This was another recommendation. I forget. Uh, I don't know if it, yeah, I forget her name again, but she, I think, did the Elixir one. And then this is the one that I wore back in the day. I got rid of the original bottle, but then I re had to repurchase this. But this is Truth by Calvin Klein. And. Yeah, it is a different smell than what they sell nowadays. So I think that is it for my cubbies. I do have some odd shaped ones. So this is my Bulgari Aqua. I know a lot of people don't like this one, but it's a masculine, like salty, summery smell. And then of course I have the original Angel. So cute. And then the Angel Muse. And then um, Katy Perry's Killer Queen, which I guess is supposed to smell like Flower Bomb again, which I don't have. Mugler's Aura. Again, I, I like Terry Mugler. Mugler. And then Britney Spears Curious, which I bought for reminiscing of the 2000 time period. The bottle, I didn't have it then, but I always wanted to just have this bottle. So that is it. I do have a bunch of samples and some 
perfume oils and body sprays, but I won't go over those now, maybe in the future. But I hope this passed some time for you and got to just relax and look at perfume, which is what I like to do in my free time is just watch perfume videos as well. Uh, if you want to see any individual reviews, please let me know and please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like. Thank you.